Hi, this is how to extract data from a PDF into Excel file. Now I've installed PDF Data Extractor version 3 and with this version you can highlight the data to take in Adobe Reader and then you can import it into the software and it will take those settings and process the file. Now to do that, what you do is you open the PDF so to do that, first of all, you need to drag and drop the file that you're going to use into PDF Data Extractor into the file name here or browse to it. Once you've done that, you can click on Setup, Smart Highlighter Setup, click OK. Now this hasn't been highlighted before, so this is a fresh start from the beginning. So say for example, I want to take this as the company name, click Highlight Text. Now for right mouse on it, I can name it so the software knows what it is. So I can put in company name in the subject of the highlight properties. And then I can take, say, invoice number. You can leave it as highlighted text as you want. You don't need to do this, but what it does, it uses the names as the header for the Excel file. And there's certain keywords that can use to format the data, like this address data here. I'm going to highlight it. I do properties on it and create it under address. It will recognize that subject and treat it that way. So I'm going to do the date. All these in fixed places. And then I'm going to do the tax. You can change the colors if you want to on the uh, highlight. And then the total to finish it off. Highlight it properties, right mouse properties it is, general, total. So that's now finished. So what I can do is save it. You can either save it with the same file name or I can save it to a new file. And what happens then, I can close this down now. It recognizes that it's been saved to a new file name and I click yes so it will import it now as you can see it's imported all those information from the subject and all the setups for it and for this address it's going to use address format for that now click process click yes and now you've got your excel this is a csv file and it formats the address for you and it's extracted all the data that was in the original PDF. So now you can run that on a batch uh, list of similar format files. Now obviously with this particular one, the tax and the total could float around. It could be down here or it could be up here, depending on how many items there are. So to tackle that, what you do is you open the PDF or you can click on view PDF you can right mouse on that and you can put in a, a word you can put a, uh, you can put in an instruction word so you want it after the word tax in bold characters there so you can put after and then you can put tax okay so it will look for that word and then extract the data after that. You can do after two if you've got more than one word. So say if you've got, uh, for example, tax value, you can put after two and then tax space value. So click OK on that one. So I'm going to do the same with the total. After, and you have to do the right case in here total so that's now set up you can save that okay and now when you do smart highlight setup it will import those settings so you can see that it's put in after tax and it's done the instruction for the software for it to extract after those keywords so if now I click process check it it will extract that data like before. So I can run it now on batch list of files. 
the files don't have to be highlighted up because you've already set it up. So I'm going to add those two files, they're both the same, but I'm going to use those two files for example. And then I'm going to click process and click yes, the batch. And then when I open the output, I'll have both those extractions. Extract to the CSV file. Now you can do it straight to an Excel file by changing the output file name. So you can use XLS or XLSX for the latest versions. Yes. Now I can open that output. And you can see that it has output with all the columns set to the right size ready to use and that's it, give it a try